My name is Suleiman. I'm coming from Dohok, and I carry with me greetings from Dohok's people to all of you. I am a consultative veterinarian, and I'm a founder of Kurdistan Organization for Animal Rights Protection. Today, I will tell you something about my experience with animal rights, what I am doing, and what I will do in future. First, I am coming from a farming family. My father, more than 60 years, was breeding animals, sheep, goat, and cattle. And also, with my life, I learned much, much information from my father, especially breeding animals, and also take care of animals, and respect them. So, after uh, this is one of the reasons that I started to work in animal rights uh, protection. Also, the second reason that I started to, to uh, um, start with this, with this sector, also all religions in Kurdistan respect animals, and no one against the, the animal rights. The third reason that I started to in work in this direction also is um, um, uh, the very bad situation or the very bad uh, picture that I saw daily in the street, uh, uh, exactly the car accident of the uh, killed dog by, by, by car accident. So therefore, after I graduated my college in 1991-1992, I started to work with my father to breeding and take care of our animal. In the same time, I worked in civil society sector. So from, two, uh, from 1992 until 2009, I've worked with different organization, international organization. And all, uh, with, well, all of them, is, uh, I worked as a veterinarian because uh, uh, my job is a veterinarian. So the last organization that I've work, worked with them is a dog detection, mind detection dogs organization. So exactly in the middle of the 2008, during I searched some article about dog healthy, I found SPARA. SPARA is a society of protection animal rights in Egypt. This organization uh, running by very famous lady. She's name is Amina. And she is also an uh, animal rights uh, uh, ambassador like me in Egypt. So I liked the work done by, by, by them. And also after that, I searched many international organizations that are working in the animal rights protection. And at that time, I immediately thought that we need, in Kurdistan and Iraq, some people work in this direction because we have lack of information in, in this sector. And I decided to work in this direction. So at the end of the 2008, I started to write the interior system of uh, Kurdistan Organization for Animal Rights Protection. And actually, at that time, it was very difficult to, to me to open an organization alone because I need at least six or seven people signed with me to, to, to give me approval of, of uh, 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 permission or for, for permission of uh, organization. So at that time, it's too difficult to find six or seven people believe that animals have rights because at that time in Iraq, there is no human right. So what about animal rights? This is very, very important. So, when, so exactly at the, after six months, I, I uh, got the, the permission or the approval of the Kurdistan Organization for Animal Rights Protection. When I returned back to my, uh, my family, and I, I talked to my, my wife, my bro uh, brothers, my uh, friends, that I decided to work in this direction, all told me that you are, you are too crazy man. You are very stupid man. You are unlike man because there is no human right in Iraq. What's about animal? And you will fight, and it's too shame to you to, to work in this direction. But I, 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 say I decided that there is no, I will, I, will, I will cry with my son. So at the beginning, when I started in 2009, I had very, suf I suffered very, very challenge. So I will mention some of them. So the first challenge that I, I, I suffered is uh, people's mentality. Uh, uh, people's hesitate to, to accept or to res uh, respect the idea of animal rights in Kurdistan and Iraq at the beginning. The second challenge was that when I searched about animal rights law, you have nothing. There is no animal rights in Kurdistan and Iraq. There is no regulation. The th th third uh, challenge that I, I suffered is also the situation of the stray animal, especially dog, cat, and donkey. And all days, government deal with this problem by killed under the law number 48. And the other, other challenge also is um, we daily extinction many kinds of animal, wild and domestic. For example, uh, a domestic animal, we, we now we have extinction, uh, Kurdish uh, ma uh, maras goat, and also we have extinction of the Kurdish original horse, and what uh, other example for the wildlife. So this is also a big, big challenge for me, and many other challenges. 
So according to this challenge, I decided to work in six sectors. It's very important for me. So the first one, I uh, worked with the, in the education of the people, especially children in the, in the school. And also I need to uh, education and raise the awareness of the people to take care of the animals, to love the animal, to respect the animal in one side. And in other side, I pressure it. And until now, I am, I am working to uh, pressure the government, especially the Ministry of the Education, to put the animal rights and animal welfare in, in her system. It's very important to, to build new generation, take care of the animal and love the animal. Also, we drafted animal rights law in Kurdistan. And we sent to, uh, to, to uh, uh, Kurdistan parliament in 2010, and then we sent again in 2014, and we sent to Iraqi parliament in 2016. Unfortunately, until now, there is no improvement. Uh, but we will, we will work again. We have new two cycles of parliament, Iraqi parliament and Kurdistan parliament. Also, daily we'll deal with the government to dissolve the problem of the stray animal, especially dog and cat. And two, to cancel the law, number 48, that killed according to them, uh, the, the animals. And also, we pressure the government to, to uh, approve or to, to agree to, 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 to approve the um, land for building shelter in all, all, all province and city. For example, now we, do, we have in the hook, we have uh, uh, approval of 10,000 square meters for building a modern shelter for dog and dog, donkey sanctuary. So we will do for, for all these government. And also, daily, we, we, we deal with the government to, um, to protect uh, wildlife, uh, especially to, to support the environmental law. Because in, 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 uh, uh, according to, to, to uh, the law that we have, there is no uh, implementation of the world. We, there is no implementation by, by the government. So we daily we work with the government, we support the government, we, will, we pressure the government. And in other side, we education aware of the, the hunters. And sometimes we fight with the hunters to stop the, hunt, the hunting. And also, we daily uh, work day and night to, to risk abused animal, uh, uh, neglected animal, uh, abandoned animal, and we promote the, the adoption. And also, we, we do the uh, um, uh, promote of the spay and neuter. For example, two days ago, we sent five puppies to USA. So, also, we daily supporting the government. Uh, to um, uh, um, uh, reporting or to we are reporting the government uh, to to tell him that we have extinction of some animal or to we, we tell him that that we have the situation of animal in some place like slaughterhouse like uh, zoo like uh, pit shop like Friday market so we have the situation of animal it's very very bad situation so we supporting the government we give him the, the report that, that that we have this this problem so also so. I, uh, with this activity, I will bring you two examples. This is because it's very hard work, and it's a new, new article in, uh, on all Iraqs. For example, I will bring you one, uh, one or two examples. I, I remember in, in 2016, during the uh, uh, liberation of Mosul from uh, IS terrorists, uh, we got a call from, from one lady inside Mosul that there is three animals in, in Mosul Zoo, and it's near to 66 days, not eating any things, and they are skinny, and they, they will die. So I make a call of help, and I ask the help. So I got $800. At, at that time, just in Mosul, there is just military. There is no one in Mosul. So me and my car entered Mosul. It's a very dangerous mission. And we sent two parts of, of, uh, of uh, food to these animals. And after one month, they became very healthy. Then we, after a month or two months, we tried to transfer from from uh, Mosul to Erbil, then from Erbil to Jordan, then from Jordan to South Africa. This is very, very, very dangerous mission because no one believed that you go to the, to the Mosul for, for animals. It's very important. I will bring another example. In 2012, one small baby of chimpanzee entered the hook, entered Kurdistan from Syria with a smuggling way. So at that time, uh, there is nothing about animal rights and people don't know anything. So four years, we are working in this case we, we, we are with a negotiation between the government and the owner of the zoo and, and, the, and the agency that need to, to, to return back this, this chimpanzee. Because we have no law and the, the owner need compensation. He, he, he asked $15,000 and the government not pay. And the agency say, I will not give $1. So four years we are with this negotiation and with all agency, uh, agencies. And after that, we successfully uh, sent this chimpanzee to Kenya. And now uh, he is with her family and between her family and uh, in the original place. So according to this 
of uh, according to this activity now we as an organization uh, organized in organiz uh, uh, recognized as a, as a world ambassador in Kurdistan from 2009 and also we are a member and the ambassador of the international society for professional animals and also we are a member of board direction of uh, mino mino is a middle east and uh, south africa uh, net network of animal welfare and also we are member in the uh, world uh, veterinary service also we are member in other um, many maybe two or three three network also and the last last thing that we we we, uh, we got also we are winner of the global alliance of rabies control uh, this award is uh, for two years 2016 and 2000 uh, uh, 17. So this is very, very uh, good award for our as a, as a court. So at the end, I hope we have because after this nine years, very hard work. We hope we can have we have more NGOs like us. We have more volunteers. We have more uh, members. We work together one uh, one hand to take care of this animal and protect this animal. And thank you. Thank you.